Okay, so now we're going to talk about how uh, the DNA damage is controlled and there are so many interesting mechanisms that have been discovered and, uh, in, the, in, the, in the last few decades and is we're in genetics, if you haven't taken it, we covered some of those topics in the seminar of evolution. Uh, sometimes, uh, if you remember, we talk about how those mechanisms can be used to control the amount of variation so there are enzymes that control replication and control how, uh, not replication, but control the, uh, the enzymes that, uh, that fix the DNA. So there are specific cases where the, you can make th those enzymes to not work properly. But, but let's, let's give you a very general perspective of that, that this is another way in which if you have mutations in those proteins that correct the DNA damage, the mistakes in DNA replication, this is another way in which uh, cancer can appear. So let's just start. Okay, so there is a lot of topics that uh, that it can be covered as in each one of, uh, of these uh, uh, subsections, but just I, I want to give you the key idea. So there are multiple ways why uh, they could be damaging the DNA. So we previously talked about UV light uh, exposure, it can be replication errors, there could be radiation, exposure to chemicals, so all those things can happen. Uh, oxygen, for example, and the cellular metabolism can be toxic. So it's very important and uh, that the DNA is repaired and this is why you have this DNA damage repair pathway. So this is why is D from DNA damage and they are from repair and you have an entire uh, set of proteins involved on, on doing that so you have dna sensors dna uh, D, sorry ddr sensors ddr transducer and ddr mediators and effectors okay so um, the sensors recognize the damage in the dna while and the and they initiate a cascade of event that uh, in which uh, you have involved these DDR transducers. So this one sends and they, they send a signal that later it will activate the mediators. And then uh, the most important part here is you have this molecule that we talked last time, uh, P53, super important, that is involved in uh, correcting all these problems, DNA repair, cell cycle array, apoptosis, and senescence. So, so uh, again, this is a more complex process that I'm telling you, but I'm just giving you a little bit of information, and I want that you remember this. This uh, P53 is key for the DNA repair, yeah? And there is a complex machinery that it has been discovered that allow us to repair the DNA, okay? So with that in mind, uh, I hope that you don't, there is no need that, again, that you memorize every single component, but that you know that they exist, that there are, that there is a specific proteins involved in repair the DNA. So, and just to remind you, the activation of this uh, specific protein machinery uh, trigger a, a cellular response that, as we talked uh, in the previous slide, allow the DNA repair, that allow the checkpoints, that allow the senescence and the tolerance to less uh, lesions, so all the things that we saw here. And these depend on different genes, yeah, if you're homozygous or heterozygous for those genes. And it has been found that different genes, yeah, can uh, stand different amount of uh, damage. So it's not a, a simple solution, what, I, what happened with the DNA damage repair, but it, it seems to be, as I have been talking during all the class, different cells uh, can vary a little bit.